Hi guys, how's it going today? I hope it's going wonderful for you. It is for me, I'm doing pretty good. I didn't know if you asked or not, but I'm doing good. So anyway, again, I'm Judy with Thrifting KC Style. I do live in a small town next to Kansas City, Missouri area, and we have quite a few thrift stores around. So, but lately I've just been kind of sticking close to home. Um, hopefully, my goal is to go to the Goodwill bins this coming weekend. So, I hope I hope they're open on Friday, because I'm off Thursday and Friday, and so I'm hoping they're open on Friday. Um, it says they were online, but sometimes you can't believe that, right? So, but I do this part time. I'm just a reseller part time, and my business is still growing. Um, I'm still learning. And I appreciate it whenever you guys give me good advice, suggestions, or just like, yay, you're doing good. I love that. <laughs> I need that sometimes more than you know. Um, I'm a full-time pharmacy technician. And so, um, which I love. I love being a pharmacy technician. I like helping people. Um, and so, and that's part of why I think I'm doing reselling, not only to help me. I mean, I need the extra money right now just to try to pay off some doctor bills. Uh, we need to pay taxes for at the end of the year. It's just, everything adds up. And so it's just kind of nice getting this little extra money coming in. So, but I did go to a local um, thrift store in our neighboring city, um, Grandview, not far from us at all. Um, and I got some things. Um, I think I did okay. It was, um, this is an old haul actually. Um, it was what did we just have Memorial Day? So it was when everything was 50% um, off, so half off of clothing or, or stuff that you can wear is what she told me. Um, and then 30% off on hard goods and like purses. But the shoes were half off. So I was really surprised about that. I was pretty excited. So, so anyway, let's see what we've got. I'm gonna start with clothes and then we'll go down to shoes. And I got some bags, um, so let's see. You know, I I think I've told you guys this before, but I do try to get bigger items, bigger sizes, because I do think sometimes it's harder for people that are a little heavier, a little bigger, to find nice clothes at a good price, and and then and they might not be able to get out, you know, and go to the thrift stores like like I can, um, and so that's why. I kind of do it, but I also get, you know, I mean, you guys see my last couple of hauls. I did have, I do get small stuff too, so. But this is Lane Bryant. It is a size 22, um, and it's just a simple dress slacks. So, I mean, it's kind of like a, a teal maybe, and it might be kind of new. One of the thread is still back here from when they had the label on here. Um, but yeah, it's just long, wide leg dress pants. Um, I don't expect, to, you know, maybe eighteen twenty for these. They're just a simple little pair. And Lane Bryant is not the best seller in the world, but I wanted to get these because of the size more than anything and dress clothes. Um, so they are 63% um, polyester, 34% rayon, and then 3% um, spandex, so so it, it got some stretch to it, but I think someone will like those. Okay, I was excited about finding this one. I've never, ever found this before, so pretty excited. North Face, um, right there. It also has it on the shirt right there. This is like a jacket pink got zipper pockets on the front just really nice i like it and i'm trying to see what size it was oh it's a medium women's medium is what it says so yeah really nice and i don't want to keep you guys too long and i do have quite a few so i'm going to try to go through this as fast as i can okay now I, I bought these jeans thinking I just recently sewed this brand. But then I, when I got home and I was thinking about it, I realized what I just sewed like really fast was a pair of American Eagle. 
um, mom jeans. Um, and so when, but when I saw these, I just thought they looked really nice and they're Gap. Um, I haven't, I sold a pair of leggings so far with a Gap brand, but this is just really nice. And wide legs, I think these are in style. If they're not, can someone tell me? Because I am still like so confused <laughs> what kind of jeans are in style. Because somebody, some says that skinny jeans are still, but I don't seem to sell those very good. Um, to be honest, I don't sell jeans very good. I've sold some, but I'm hoping these will be good. Because I think these are really nice. They are the dark wash. They're called wide leg trousers, 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 <laughs> trousers, super high rise. So that might be good. They are a 31 waist. They are women's. So yeah. So hopefully these will go good. I Like I said, I think these are really nice. And the fact that they're high rise, super high rise, that might be a plus. Okay. I was trying really hard not to get too many J Jills. But you'll probably see some in here. At least one, maybe. Yeah, I think two. <laughs> so, okay, I'm trying to get the staples out. But I hate the fact that Goodwill staples everything and I don't know if they do this everywhere but around here they staple them to the tag and then you can see the brand or the size so okay this is made well um, and it is a small but I thought this was cute it is a dress mini dress isn't that cute it's like a shirt dress is that what this is called I think so uh, it does have long sleeves so that's why I liked it but at the same time can they be rolled up or someone had them rolled up but they they're not supposed to be rolled up but yeah it's just a navy blue my husband said it looked a little simple but i think you can dress this up wear tights under it it does have the tabs on top so i think this is cute and let me see it has a button it buttons down to the waist so yeah, hit them, hit them button. I definitely got to wash this. I, there's some staining, not staining, but just like dirty spots. And when I undid one of the sleeves, not both of them, but one of the sleeves had something white all in it. It was so gross. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really cute. Okay, so that's that. This is my first J. Jill that I'm showing you. Yeah, J. Jill is a size medium. I want to take the at least at least one of these staples out, so then you guys can see it. I just I should have done this before I started, I guess, but no, I don't do that. Okay, so this is J. Jill. So it's a medium. It is. It's called Wearless Wherever Collection. And I, I like the print. It's the Paisley's um, and long sleeves. That's what I'm trying to find is stuff that is, you know, more for winter. Um, and it's like this long. Don't know if you could tell how long it is. I, I haven't figured out the right place to stand either. Um, you know, to make it look better for you. Because I feel like when I'm standing, you guys can't see the stuff as good either. So, it's 95% rayon, 5% spandex. So, so yeah, it's cute. This is my other J. Jill. And to me, both of these dresses were simple. This one was a cheaper, cheaper one. So, to me, that means that um, it's probably an older style. But I still think it was really cute. And it is also a small. This one's a small. So that's the tag. Is that the older brand, guys? But it is just a floral pullover. So this would be, you know, just comfy to wear about. It does have pockets. So I do like that. Um... Of course, when I saw it, I wished it was my size. I keep telling my husband I want to get one. I don't own a J. Jill myself. 
I can never find one I like in my size. So, but I would have gotten this one. If it was my size, I would have gotten it. But I need a, I need a bigger one. So, you know, but yeah, I think it's, it's really cute. And, and it feels like it's the same material as the other one. Yep, this one is rayon, lyle silk, and cotton, and then spandex. So, not bad. Okay, oh, I fell in love with this jacket, guys. I think you'll like it, too. Um, and I'm hoping it sells. Because I'm not selling my jackets. I figured, because um, I got a corduroy one, I got some blazers. And they're not selling, so. But I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep buying jackets until someone buy me a jack, buy a jacket. <laughs> but no, I'm kidding. Okay, this is uh, Chico. So good brand. It is a size two, which is that a large? I always forget. Um, that's I think is a large, um, and it's a it's a black, and it feels so good. Um, and I thought, I think you could like cuff the sleeves and then I love the inside. Isn't that beautiful? And with the red trim around, I love it. So, but this is too small for me, or I would have kept it. I would have kept everything if I could, but so yeah, it, this is really pretty jacket to me. I, I haven't really comped any of this stuff. It's hard for me to comp in the store, so I'm still, it still makes me nervous. <laughs> okay, this is a brand called Zella. Um, I just, it's an activewear brand, and I just liked it. And they put this right on the shirt this time. Which I don't think is good either, right? Who wants holes in their shirt? <laughs> okay I'll get the other one out later but yeah it's just an active wear brand it does have long sleeves um, the sleeves kind of have a cuff I think you can pull it over I'm not sure I have to look it up like I said and see how it does it um, this is that's small so see I told you guys I get stuff that's small so this is a small, but isn't it cute? I thought it was cute. They had some dresses. Oh, what brand were those? But they were active wear dresses and they were so cute. Now I, you know, I did comp all of these. I just don't remember how much everything was. That's why I grabbed these over the other. There are some things I don't think I comp, but I do, I do remember comping because I put those dresses back. I almost bought one of them. And then I said no, because the comps just wasn't very good. Okay. To be honest, this one I just got because I've been wearing this brand for a while to see how it does. And my name is Judy. And this is Judy Blue. And I know some people says it's good to sell and some people says it's not worth it to sell. But I went ahead and got these. Um... Judy Blues. Aren't they very stretchy? They are a 14W, so that is a good size. And they have the elastic waist, um, but they're jeans. I do need to wash them. They do have this marking here. I'm hoping it'll come out, but I was like, I'll get my big fat butt in these if I have to. <laughs> but there's uh, some more, and I'm hoping if I spray it, because it does not look like a stain stain to me. Um, I got that back there. And so, yeah, these are really nice. And I don't, I won't get my, I won't get into those. They're way too small for me. <laughs> okay. This I bought for me. I bought me something. Um, but it's just an Old Navy. But I thought it was cute. So I'm going to show it to you guys. So, and you know, when you watch the pros, like, um, Lori Tata, I was just watching her and she bought her something that was like, 
I don't want to say cheap because it's not cheap. It's still expensive clothes. But like Banana Republic or Gap or something like that just the other day. This is a gorgeous dress. And it is Old Navy, extra large. Um, ties on the side. Isn't that just... I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. So, yeah. I'll wear this with a sweater over it. I will be styling, guys. <laughs> okay, I think we're out of the clothes. Now we're going to go with accessories and whatever I found. <laughs> Mostly accessories. Except this. But again, I got to take this off. I like sheeps. And I give sheeps as gifts a lot of times to some of my friends. So whenever I find them, I buy them. So um, when one in my congregation gets baptized, um, I buy them a sheep. So like welcoming them to the flock. So I found this one. It's just so cute. Nice and full and fluffy. Um, it is Kelly Toy. So, Kelly Toy. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just, you know, and 30% off. I think it was $2.99, so I got 30% off of this. So, yeah. I thought this was, I thought this was cute little purse. Pretty sure it's vintage. I got it for 30% off of $5. Not sure how much that is. Um, I think my cost of goods were only like four something because I got um, I got quite a bit of stuff and and um, everything was on sale. So, but the thing is, I don't know the brand, but I'm thinking it might be the Relic. So it might not be. It might not be um, vintage, <laughs> but I thought it was cute. It does have um, some numbers in here that I'm going to try to type up and see if I can find it. And it was made in China, so yeah, probably not vintage. Um, but yeah, it's just cute, nice and clean. I like little purses now. I didn't used to. I used to want big purses, and now I'm getting little purses again. And so I guess you've changed. But it just goes over. I mean, you can wear it as a shoulder. I have bad shoulders, so purses just slides off. So I have to do cross bodies. But, yeah, I thought that was cute. Okay, guys. I was really surprised finding this. Because this was still there. It's a Vionic. Pretty sure this is um, one of the brands that Kathy um, on Ginger Marvin gets a lot. And I think the reason it was overlooked is because of this. It says... Geek, am I doing it right? Um, and I was like, um, okay. And someone just taped this tape in there in the shoes, which is good because then they left the shoes beautiful, aren't they gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I was so excited finding these because I think these are really nice. They were also. 50% off of five of five dollars. So I got them for two fifty. So yeah, I think these are really nice. They are seven and a half, I think. Let me get my glasses here. Yeah, they're seven and a half. So so yeah. And this is like really nice and clean. It's like a new shoe. I mean you can see maybe somewhere, but not, not that much. So, yeah, I really like this. Now, I think I told you guys um, a couple of hauls ago, I, I had a pair of bath shoes, and then I was showing you another pair soon because I already have these. And so that's what these are, and they, um, they copped out really good. So I got these for, um, they were $7.99, so I got them for $4.00. And you know, thirty, forty dollars, and these are really nice. And my husband had a pair of shoes like these, similar when we first met with the tassel. <laughs> so I might have got them because of that too. 
so they're called Bass. The brand, the model is Lloyd. And their men's are 9 medium, M's, not mine, 9 medium, 9 M. Um, they're leather uppers, and then balance is man-made. But, I mean, these look really nice, really nice and clean. I think I can, I think these will sell pretty good. So, okay. So, I've also never found a brand, this brand before. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to. It's right there. Sam Edelman. <laughs> so, and to be honest, I did not comp these. I just, I just grabbed them because, I mean, it's winter. They're boots. They got both of them. They had two pairs. They had these, and then they had a pair of high top tennis shoes, and I thought these might sell better. Um, and I didn't want it. they both had an issue the tennis shoes had more problems than the boots so the tennis shoes had some rubbing and these do too but not a lot they don't look bad they're they are suede um they do have that spot on this one and I I got this bar that I can use to scrub it and I'm hoping that will come out and then of course I'm going to put um stuff in there to get the crease out um but they're kind of a gray kind of Kind of a gray so yeah so tell me if i did a good job on those whoops whoopsie daisy i'm piling up my couch okay so i also mentioned i want to get new stuff um to try to sell and so hopefully i can get this own line before too long this um is a new bag it's watermelon um, it doesn't tell me a price, I don't think. It does have a tag. The, the tag didn't scan. This, you know, I think I might have just scanned this one. I don't know for sure. But they didn't scan. <laughs> but it's brand new. It's a lunch lunch container. So go and picnics for kids or whatever, you know. I just thought, you know, you go and have a gathering with friends. You could put a whole bunch of drinks in here maybe. So... Yeah, and it's it's really, I mean, it's new, it's clean. And I want to say, so this was 30% off of $7.99. So uh, hopefully that wasn't a bad deal. Okay, now this bag surprised me. It was also $7.99, so 30% off of it. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized I'm missing the crossover strap. But this is called Solo New York. Um, and the bags goes pre pre owned for like 40 bucks. Um, so that's a side pocket. That's a side pocket. This pocket right there. I mean, it's a nice bag. It got the kind of thing in the middle to hold it. You hold your the laptop case, so you got you can put your laptop in there. And so, yeah, it's really nice bag. And then it has this pocket. I and you know they have these. I don't know what these are. Oh, you know, maybe this is a backpack. <gasps> it is. I am even more excited now. Look at that, <laughs> you guys! It just made my day. Oh my word. <laughs> Look at that. A backpack too. How cool is that? Oh my word. Yeah. And if you don't want to do the backpack, you can hide pockets in there. <laughs> wow. So yeah, the only thing we're missing though is the the strap that holds onto this. So but I think this is perfect. I just, I'm hoping I can get, you know, at least 30 out of here. So, okay. Everybody heard of Hunter Boots? And no, I didn't find a Hunter Boot. But I found a Hunter Back. Or, yeah, I guess it's a bag. But it's just a rubber, rubber Hunter container. Isn't that cool? cool? It says Hunter. It says Hunter on the inside. Too. 
it's a little dirty. I have to clean it. There is a note that I took off so I can read it better. <laughs> and so it just was talking about how to keep it nice looking because you'll get a white powdery bloom on your hunter bag because it's natural material. So I think someone will buy this. Um, again, $40, $30 or $40, I forget exactly how much it was. Like I said, it was Memorial Day, so it's been a while. So, guys, that's it. How do I do on this one? You know, I'm excited. I think I got some good things. You know, my I feel like this past weekend my stuff sold like crazy. I was selling, I mean, a lot for me, not a lot like for the cat, the nurse flipper. <laughs> crazy but for me it was a lot so anyway guys again I appreciate you guys so much and I am so sorry I did not realize this was going to be such a long video or I would have split it up more um I and I tend to talk don't I so I'm gonna let you go now then just if you're new subscribe okay I would love to have you into my YouTube family and if you have a channel let me know about it because I'll subscribe to you and if you like this video, please hit that like because I really could use that. I use I use that as an encouragement, learning tool. Leave comments. I learn. Learn from all of you guys. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye, guys.